Well, a classic example is someone with SIBO, that's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And this is extraordinarily common. I mean, IBS is rampant in the US population. Millions of patients have it. And probably 40 to 50%, depending on the study of those patients, have SIBO. So this is kind of an epidemic that's gone underdiagnosed. And the GI doctors now recognize it. When I first started, it was SIBO doesn't exist, right? Mm -hmm. And now they've read their own medical literature, and now they're fully on board with SIBO is real. We've got ICD-10 codes, right? right. And uh, so what I do for these patients is they, they've usually come in, and the GI doctor has given them the drug rifaximin. And they feel right. better for a week and then everything comes back. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is that the GI doctor didn't set a foundation to heal. He never had them do a periodic fast, never had them try a low processed food diet or a low FODMAP diet, never set the stage for gut healing with probiotics. So I have them come in and do that. And a large amount of the time, that's all they need. They didn't need the antibiotic. They, they needed the fix from the lifestyle, the reason why they got SIBO.